Hello IT Pros, welcome back to my IT workshop. So first of all, uh, Merry Christmas if you celebrate that festivity. Um, if not, well, I hope you are having a good day. So in this video, I'm going to upgrade the BIOS version of uh, Dell, uh, it's not Dell, it's an HP laptop. You can see I open a CMD, I type system info, and it's going to give me, well, the username is HP user, the one I created. It's a Microsoft Windows 10 Pro. We have the original install date, which is not very important, but it was in 2018. And then we have the manufacturer, Hewlett Packard, the system model, which is an HP ProBook 4540S. So it is a laptop, but this process works for most, um, um, whether it is desktop or laptop, HP equipment. So you can update the, the BIOS the same way. So the most important part here is the BIOS version, which is a Hewlett Parker 60IRR version F.31. So that came out in 2012. So it was a long time ago. So don't forget F.31. So we are going to, we are going to update it or upgrade the BIOS. Okay. So uh, the next step is going to be uh, let's go to um, HP website. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So it is supporthp.com um, and then we have to go to where it says software and drivers. So we click on it and it's going to ask what, we, what are we trying to do? What, what, what do we need? A printer, a laptop, a desktop, others. So uh, obviously we're going we're going to do a laptop, so we're going to, we're going to choose that. If, if, if you notice that the things are a, li a little bigger, it's because I did it that on purpose, so you can see it better. So here it's asking us for the serial number. So one way to check for your serial number is you open a, another CMD and type WMIC BIOS get serial number. You click, well, you click, you press enter, and there is your serial number. Uh, the reason I'm showing the serial number for this particular video, because if you have watched the others, I don't do that, is because this um, HP computer is going to be the commission, so we are not going to use it anymore, and I want you to see how it looks. Okay. Uh, now that we have it, we are going to go back to the website, and we are going to, to copy this number. For some reason, I was not able to copy for the CMD, I don't know why. Once you copy it, you click um, continue and there you have it. There is the, the correct model, HP, the complete model, HP ProBook 4540, Notebook PC, Energy Star. And if you, if you scroll down, you're going to see all the options that we have. So we click on BIOS because that's what we need and you are always going to get the latest. So here it says it came out in June 2018. So we are going to, to download it. I already have it uh, in my desktop, but it, it's around 10 megabytes. So here we have it. And since we don't have anything else to do, <laughs> we're going to double click on it. So we have here all the, we, this is the update for the BIOS and all that. So we're going to click next. Here's the, the license, license agreement. It's going to tell me what it's going to install it. Uh, I'm just going to click next. So here we are. Welcome to HP Flash Wizard. Uh, and it's telling me, well, what's going to happen. So I'm just going to close everything since it is asking me to do that. And now it's telling me that I can create a USB or I can continue here. So I'm going to click continue here. So this is the important part. This is the version of the BIOS in the system, F31, and the new version is going to be F67. Okay, that came out in May, now that I read it better. So this process uh, is going, it's, uh, it's not super long, but it took around, this first part took around two to three minutes. So I have accelerated the video, so you don't have to wait for the entire process, like I did. So once it has finished this part, I thought that was it and it wasn't going to be restarted, but no, there was another part still. So this part was a little longer. It took around three and a half minutes, more or less. So you just have to wait 
for the process to end. And finally, con completing the HPQ flash wizard. So it tells us that upon restarting, um, the screen might be blank for a few minutes and available light my light light my flash. So it's going to restart after 45 seconds. I just click continue so we, we don't have to wait all the, all that time. So again, the the video is accelerated and here we are. So this is automatic. You don't have to press anything and writing BIOS image. So the system BIOS is being updated. This one was really quick. It took around 50 seconds, one minute, really, really quick. So after that, the system restarted itself, as you can see here. Again, the video is accelerated, and the HP user that you see here, it doesn't have a password since it's going to be the commission, so it went directly to the, to the desktop. So now I'm going to open a CMD again. So right-click on it, I run as an administrator, and I'm going to issue the same command, but it looks for some reason look weird so i'm going to change the font and the size and the color of the of the of the letters on the screen so i type system info again and we're going to check if the information information well the bios version has been updated well we know it has been successful otherwise we wouldn't be here <laughs> but as you can see bios version helot packard uh, the version is f.67 so that came out in may 2018. So that was the video guys. Uh, I realized that the HP BIOS update was faster than the Dell, at least in this model. So it was successful. That's all I wanted to show you for today. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so clicking on the subscribe button. And if you have any question, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave a like. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.